Spencer Matthew, Public Relations Officer of the National Council on Public Transportation, says the most recent meeting with Transport Minister Honorable Stevenson King to establish a disciplinary committee was a success. At present, the NCOPT's various requests are slated for cabinet discussions, according to Matthew. Our proposal the government came to an end last month, and we're discussing what we sent to them to renew some of the proposal. So it's going to go before cabinet and hopefully cabinet will make a decision on that. Then what happens is there's a process. We are in negotiation and government, you know, to meet with the government, sometimes it takes a little time and there's a process. Some of the things we're requesting from the government, not demanding, we're requesting it has to go before cabinet. Among the NCOPT's gravest concerns are the establishment of a disciplinary committee for public transportation operators. We discussed um, the disciplinary matter which has been pending for quite some time, so they've um, they promised to at least um, give us a disciplinary committee by a month and a half time, or two months, thereabout. And for the commuters who believe they may have been slighted by minibus operators, Matthew explained the process in which complaints can be filed. Well, you see, the thing is, you need to understand there are associations. The association have the bylaws and the they have the, the, the act, they have the, the bylaws, they have the laws. So there's a process for the commuters, what they do, they're supposed to write and then it's forwarded to the, 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 the taken before the association, the association deals again. The meeting between Transport Minister Honorable Stevenson King and the NCOPT took place on Friday, June 28, 2024. For Choice News Now, I am Chelsea Austinay.